Well, welcome to Daily Extra, Blake Skellerup. Uh, we are here on the uh, opening of the Sochi Games, and you're in Toronto with uh, the uh, Toronto Pride House. Now, you miss qualifying by one position. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me, tell me how what your reaction is to that, because uh, you kind of missed out on the opportunity, as you say, to go uh, to Sochi as the uh, the first history-making out gay man. Um, tell me about your reaction. Uh, on a sports side and maybe on the activist side as well. Uh, emotional yeah. on both scales, definitely. First, from a, a sports side, these Olympics was something that I worked for uh, mm. very, very tirelessly for four years. Yeah. I sacrificed a lot and there was a lot of hardship for me personally to, to keep going yeah. and to keep that motivation there, yeah. that fire inside of me mm. to at least get to that point of qualifying for the mm, Olympics right. and to be one spot away it, it's very hard oh. to deal with and you know today opening ceremonies watching like uh, mad is, is, is the only word I can use to say how I feel and that's right. is nothing I can do about it I can't mm. sit around sad and be depressed for too long because mm. that's not going to help me personally right. and from the I guess the advocacy side yeah. um, even more disappointed because mm. As an Olympian, I believe in the Olympic movement yeah. and I know what it takes and what it means to achieve yeah. your dreams and your goals. Mm -hmm. And for those people of Russia who are unable to achieve their dreams and their goals, uh, it's very, very upsetting. And yeah. I think you should really see more athletes uh, making a statement and standing up because as Olympians, they know what it takes. They mm -hmm. know how hard it is right. to be living in a free country and to achieve your dreams, what you have to sacrifice, what you have to go through. Right. And imagine being in, in a country where you're that oppressed, you can't even live freely. What would you have done if you'd been there? Like, it, it, were, had, had you been sort of planning any kind of personal protest or, you know, is there some way that you would have stood up if you, had you been in Sochi? I mean, first of all, I'm Blake Scalrop yeah. and I'm openly gay and the world knows that. Mm -hmm. And the media knows that, a lot of the athletes know mm -hmm. that. And that is statement number one in itself. Right. Second of all, I would have put my, my heart and my soul into competing to the best of my abilities. Yeah. And then thirdly, most definitely, I would have made a statement. Okay. These Olympics are important to me, but human rights are more important than a sporting event. Right. Sports has the ability to, to bring about okay. a change and bring mm -hmm. people together. Mm -hmm. And how special would it be to see the Olympic Games lead by example and to help with the inclusion and the acceptance of yeah. LGBT rights across the world.